Hey guys, uh, Leif here from uh, ATEC Office Technology. Today I'm going to show how to set up uh, the Konica Minolta BISAM to scan to email using uh, Office 365. And to do that, we're going to log in to the admin section on the copier using the uh, web connection. So you uh, look up and browse the IP address of the printer. Uh, we'll click on the button that says to login screen and click OK. We're going to log in as administrator to set this up. Uh, type in the administrator password. Uh, that should be uh, numbers 1 through to 8 twice. And OK. And there's a few settings we need to do to get this uh, all working. So first we're going to go to system settings. And we're going to set up the from address of the photocopier. So that's the, uh, it's a good habit to put in both the administrator email address as well as the machine address. And just keep those the same. So in this case I have a uh, Office 365 uh, account uh, and email that I've already typed in there. So you just type that into the email address. Uh, this is the one I'm going to use here. Uh, and I've got that in both of those. And hit OK. And OK to that. The next thing we're going to do is to go into the email settings. So that's under the network. Click on the network tab. And we're now going to configure the outgoing email server. So we want to go in, click on email settings on the left hand side. Uh, and we're going to click on the email transmit or TX SMTP option. Okay, and uh, these are the things you need to fill out. Uh, we're going to make sure scan to email is turned on. Uh, make sure the SMTP server address is ticked to enter the host name. So tick that one. Uh, enter the SMTP server address below. So that's uh, in this case with Office 365. It's smtp.office365.com. Uh, we want to use TLS, so change this one here to select Start TLS. That one is def off by default. Uh, enter the port number. We, uh, Office 365 uses port 587, so put that in there. Uh, just to avoid any problems, make sure you have Do Not Confirm on these options down here. And uh, you can see this is the admin email and device address that we put in previously in the other section. But just confirm that those are okay. And uh, now SMTP authentication is disabled or unchecked by default. So we want to turn SMTP authentication on. So tick that one there. Otherwise Office 365 is not going to work. And uh, enter your user ID for your Office 365 account, which is uh, usually the same as your email address. So enter that in there and uh, tick this one here that the password is changed and enter your password for that Office 365 account in, in the password section. I've already entered the password here, so I'm just going to hit OK on that. And OK. And the last thing we need to do to get this wor working, currently uh, as we speak uh, there is uh, some kind of security setting issue with Office 365 so that may not be in the future, but click on the security tab at the top and go into the, under the PKI setting, click on SSL setting and make sure that this uh, the SSL TLS version setting by default 
on your printer these are most likely all selected but uh, we all we want to, to leave selected is the TLS version 1.0 so untick the other three options and leave it exactly as I've got it here and hit OK and OK again and you should now be ready to go with the Office 365 uh, settings that you've got so uh, set up a email in the address book to to test this and uh, where you go so just remember to log out uh, at the end you sure you want to log out okay and uh, that's it uh, good luck and uh, hopefully that will uh, work with Office 365.